Within hours of the rankings chart's release, a truly stunning sumo board meeting. Which has ruled that Ichi no Jo, last July's champion, will have to sit out January. And that two lower division men from the Yokozuna stable have committed acts of wanton bullying and one of them must retire. Consequently, their master, the ranking supremo himself, has been told he faces demotion from the board. To save some face, he's offered to resign his seat. Wow. We begin with Ichinojo's suspension. Long overdue, say stable insiders dismayed at his drinking antics. They've accused him of missing training repeatedly and PR shoots due to hangovers. They've poured scorn on his demonic turns when the alcohol takes its hold. He goes into bars and gets into rows and has even struck the master's wife when she tried to escort him home was the most serious claim against him. And sumo chiefs now accept this claim, but insist the incident is old news. Five years old or more, in fact, went the statement issued by sumo chiefs. The violence towards the master's wife was not malicious, has not reoccurred, and she does not wish for him to be punished. It also read, The rows in bars and broken items are also at least four years in the past. The parties concerned have accepted the master's apologies. Lines have therefore been drawn underneath, and he'll not be punished for these events. Instead, they report, he's been charged with the lesser offence of breaking anti-Covid rules. As far as they know, in October-November 2020 and in August 2021, when going to bars under Covid curfew. Note the periods in question. Weeks after Abi's six-month ban, then weeks after Asanoyama's one-year ban. But as Ichinojo only went out with friends and not to host S bars, his suspension takes in just the one tournament, Sumo Chiefs so boldly conclude. His master, meanwhile, will lose two-tenths of his pay for the first three months of next year. Not the outcome those nameless stable insiders desired. Many teeth will be ground tonight, I'm sure. As for Isegahama, then... During November, a junior wrestler cried foul to his family, who took up the matter with sumo staff. An inquiry has found the wrestler's claims to be true. That he had been stomach-punched and trampled between April and August this year, and had chanko vat water thrown onto him. The two offenders have not yet been named, one has handed in his papers and been told to pack his bags. The other, for now, is banned for January and March. We shall take good note of who's not competing from that stable next month. And Coach Isegahama's iron grip on sumo ranks is gone. He will have to renounce his team management role and I guess will no longer be a judge. A highly significant sumo moment.